More protests are planned in dozens of cities in Brazil today, suggesting that decisions to reverse hikes in public transport fares in Rio and Sao Paulo have made no difference. The protesters' grievances go far deeper than a few cents on bus tickets. Although yesterday thousands demonstrated peacefully in many towns, there were some violent clashes in at least two places. At Niteroi, near Rio, police fired tear gas at protesters who tried to block a bridge linking the two towns. In Rio, the mayor says the U-turn on fares will have consequences elsewhere. This means we'll have to make choices and define priorities. It'll obviously mean nearly 70 million euros less invested in other areas. The mayor's delicate economic balancing act is unlikely to cut much ice with demonstrators railing against corruption, huge spending on sports events and other matters. Despite Brazil's rapid economic growth, there's a strong sense of social injustice. The people have woken up. The bus fare hike was just a moment of awakening. Now we're fighting for better health care, security and education. We're tired, man. This is the time to fight. Enough injustice. I want education. I want good hospitals, not a football stadium, for goodness sake. At Fortaleza, there were some protests at the Confederations Cup match between Brazil and Mexico. Brazil's star striker Neymar has pledged solidarity with the protesters' demands. But former world champion Pelé called on people to forget what he called the confusion and back the national team.